Welcome to part two of our in-depth exploration of the CCP's global influence. In part one, we uncovered the CCP's cyber warfare tactics and their attempts to undermine cultural freedom, highlighting the sanctions imposed by the US and the UK as a response to these malicious activities. Now, we turn our focus to the CCP's intellectual property theft and its implications on the global stage, from academia to technology. Join us as we unravel the extent of this theft and its profound effects on innovation, trust, and international relations. Let's get into the details. The CCP aggressively pursues economic development through widespread counterfeiting and brand imitation. Product counterfeiting and the sale of knockoffs have become so systemic that they've established their own industry chains. The proliferation of fakes under the CCP has led to the creation of a ranking system for counterfeit mobile phone brands in China. Moreover, these substandard knockoff products are being exported abroad, posing a threat to the global community. According to the Korean Customs Service, during the four-week period between November 6 and December 1, 2023, 142,930 counterfeit items were confiscated. About 90% of them were traced back to China. Tests revealed that a range of products designed for direct skin contact contained carcinogenic substances at levels 2 to 930 times higher than the acceptable limits. Recently in Australia, two Chinese individuals used Uber to visit a luxury store in Sydney. During the ride, the driver inquired, Are you heading to the store to take photos so you can replicate and sell knockoffs? The CCP has moralized, normalized, rationalized, and even militarized acts of intellectual theft, waging what it dubs a people's war to appropriate advanced Western technologies under the guise of patriotism, nationalistic fervor, and the promise of monetary and reputational rewards. This alarming and aberrant conduct is without historical precedent. The CCP's thuggish behavior extends beyond the United States, Europe, Asia, and Australia. In Africa, the CCP is aggressively expanding its influence without regard for the consequences, resulting in severe ecological damage, rampant poaching of wildlife, and the oppression of local populations. In contemporary times, the CCP has shed any pretense and openly challenges the international community. Actions that would be beneath the dignity of ordinary people are commonplace under the CCP's rule. Chinese civilization boasts a long and profound history, often hailed as the epitome of etiquette. For a considerable stretch of history, traditional China was a beacon for other nations to study and emulate. At that time, people from diverse backgrounds flocked to China to acquire knowledge and expertise, symbolizing the splendor of Chinese civilization. Even the children dispatched beyond the nation's borders during the Qing dynasty to study in the United States largely assimilated swiftly into U.S. society and forged numerous friendships. Nevertheless, under the deliberate influence of the CCP, many Chinese individuals today demonstrate behavior and a mindset that diverges from the international community. The prevalent traits include disregard for norms, distrust, lying, inclination toward confrontation, and an aversion to admitting faults while prioritizing personal image. The uncivilized conduct of numerous Chinese immigrants in Western societies has left the international community aghast. In 2015, a Chinese woman allowed a young boy to defecate outside a Burberry store in the village of Bicester, England, though a public bathroom sat only feet away. In 2016, a Chinese tourist shocked Russians when she allowed her child to urinate directly on the floor of the Grand Catherine Palace. Built in the 18th century, the palace was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1990. In response to such uncivilized behavior, countries such as France, Germany, Japan, and Thailand, Chinese tourists' favorite destinations, have all come up with signs written in simplified Chinese characters. Chinese people, please flush after using the toilet, please keep quiet, and please refrain from spitting everywhere. These signs dedicated to the Chinese populace indeed embarrass all Chinese people. When international communities are offended by the CCP's behavior, it is the Chinese people who suffer the consequences of the resentment and retaliation from free societies. In recent years, the proportion of Americans and Europeans holding negative views toward China has steadily increased. 
A Pew survey conducted in 2023 showed that 38% of U.S. adults surveyed described China as an enemy, a 13-point increase from March 2022. A majority said that China is a competitor, 52%, and just 6% considered China a partner of the United States, while 83% had negative views of China. On March 14th, the U.S. House Committee on Oversight and Accountability sent letters to nine federal agencies, including the Department of Justice, the Drug Enforcement Administration, the U.S. Agency for Global Media, the Treasury Department's Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, and the National Science Foundation to ensure that the federal government will take every action necessary to protect Americans from the CCP's ongoing political warfare. The committee urged all agencies to adopt a comprehensive approach to counter the systematic infiltration of the CCP into U.S. society. The CCP originated from thuggish beginnings and its nature remained unaltered after seizing power. Even under the guise of reform and opening up, the CCP merely used rhetoric about reform, legality, human rights, democracy, prosperity, civilization, and the like to deceive both the Chinese populace and the international community. In practice, it has aggressively plundered private wealth, tightened its authoritarian control, and marginalized civilian voices in favor of party dominance, resulting in significant moral regression. Throughout its decades in power, the CCP has consistently stooped so low and committed such contemptible deeds, earning the condemnation of nations worldwide and tarnishing the reputation of both China and its people. When the CCP faces opposition from free societies, it shamelessly uses the Chinese people as its shield. A community that neglects civilized etiquette will not garner respect. A regime that disregards integrity will not sustain itself. A nation and a people without cultural roots cannot genuinely thrive. Chinese citizens and members of the international Chinese community should recognize the CCP's harm and destruction of China's reputation and the image of its people. By resisting the misconduct of the CCP, they can safeguard the reputation that the Chinese people rightfully deserve. The international community should no longer naively assume that the CCP is a normal regime. It must recognize it as an evil regime that embodies the incarnation of malevolence with the intent to destroy humanity. Its existence serves only to prompt individuals to make choices between good and evil, thereby shaping their own futures. Let us differentiate between China and the CCP, resist the CCP, distance ourselves from the CCP, and choose a brighter future for ourselves. And that concludes our deep dive into the CCP's impact on intellectual property and academia. The ramifications of these actions are wide ranging, from innovation to international trust. Thanks for watching. For more insights, make sure to subscribe.